Oh. All the speedsters together. Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another video for you guys. What you just witnessed was the ghost and I last night after just finishing The Flash 717 Heart of the Matter Part 1 episode. And then of course, right after that, Heart of the Matter Part 2 promo starts playing. We're still trying to process the episode we just watched and they're playing this really crazy promo promoting the final episode of Season 7. It's crazy, this, the second part of this crazy episode because we just finished Part 1. A lot of stuff going on, we missed some stuff as you can tell, we're just like trying to process it while we're also processing the episode we just finished so it was crazy i really enjoyed heart of the matter part one that episode was really damn good i'm excited as hell and she's excited as well for part two and to see the conclusion in a sense of the season because what we've been hearing this is not the end of the godspeed arc and it shouldn't it shouldn't be so i'm gonna go through here watch the promo for heart of the matter part two we're gonna watch it here and we're gonna discuss and uh, break this down a little bit because I'm excited as hell. I, I'm I'm enjoying these kind of videos where I'm able to break down the promo, you know, and, and share, of course, the reaction as we're watching it live after finishing an, uh, the episode and then seeing the promo for the next one. So if you guys like this and want to see me continue this, you know, from time to time, depending on the importance of the episodes or whatever, let me know in the comment section below, guys, and I will continue. If you guys like me breaking down these things, and talk a little bit more, just let me know in the comments section below if you actually like this. Let's try this again. <laughs> Let's try this again. Here we go. The Flash 718 promo, Heart of the Matter, part two. Let's get into it and see what they show us and see what I missed because I probably missed a couple of things because it went by so damn quick. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. I, yeah, I think I think I missed a couple things for sure. <laughs> this goes by so quick. Let's play it from the beginning and let's uh, let's break this down as we pause. So I like the fact that we have Barry inside August's mind, and so within his mind, we're seeing this throne. And I thought it was interesting that we saw this at the end of, of course, part one, and. I guess August is going to reveal why he is who he is and um, why he decided to become Bart's Thawne. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm curious about that because there's definitely a lot, of, a lot of things going on here. I mean, that was a good reveal in part one is that Godspeed is Bart's Thawne. So who's Nora's Thawne? I don't know. But anyways, let's continue. Okay. So I wanted to pause that because that line, watch your city burn. So he's from the future. So if you want to burn the city of Central City now, then the city, is it, is it going to be the same in the future? Because any little ch change that happens now is going to alter the timeline. So my assumption is just based off of certain things, how they're going about them and how Nora and Bart being in the past, well, their past, but our present interfering and dealing with these clone god speeds and interacting with certain people and i feel like something's going to happen to where we're going to create another i wouldn't say flashpoint i would say creating an alternate timeline that is basically flashpoint but in a sense to where it's not as drastic but it's creating something to where maybe that explains why we're going to have five episodes beginning of season eight starting in november supposedly unless there's the delays or whatever but with heroes showing up maybe there's something that's going on that requires certain heroes from the other shows to come in to help i don't know because it's not the end of the godspeed arc so unless there's some other angle they're going to go with here maybe there's a uh, timeline shift maybe this is just we already know joe's going to be in season eight so this is just a empty threat but it's definitely like oh shit he might still get injured but he's fine Hopefully. All those fucking Godspeeds. All those Godspeeds. Because, like, now there's way more Godspeeds. 
And I'm wondering how they were able to pull this off unless it's part of it is CG God speeds or if they have the camera steady and they have all of these different stunt guys in Godspeed suits. And because I don't know, I don't think they have this, this many here on the shot <laughs> or they just station the camera and then they shoot it and then they have them in different positions and they splice all the footage together. I don't know. That's a lot of Godspeeds. So this, this is what I was noticing. So there it is. Iris is a speedster. <laughs> and we have Speed Force Nora. If that goes back fast enough, here we go. Speed Force Nora and Iris. Now, the thing was, Iris, I don't know how that got confirmed <laughs> to be in this. It's kind of it's kind of irritating. But for me, it's like this. Is it a spoiler that Iris is a speedster and she's wearing a version of her daughter's suit? Like, she's wearing her daughter's suit, but it's not fully excess yet? Yes. But my main thing now is, now I know it, it's got to be good context, and it's got to be good for the overall story. That's the way I'm taking it. So, this hopefully is going to be interesting. Hopefully good. We have Barry here. And he, I, I hate the fact that he's cut off. I wish he was in between, like standing in between Nora and Iris. It would have been fucking cool. Maybe we'll get that in the show, in the episode, which will be awesome. Because that means we got Speed Force Nora. We have Nora. We have Barry. We have Iris, Bart, and Jay. And then also on top of that, we got Frost and Cisco back. Cisco, yay. Um, so there's a lot of things going on here. And Allegra, I guess, as well, if she does something. Who knows? Maybe she will. Hmm. Who knows? Uh, but we have a lot of things going on. We have a Godspeed War. We have all this going on. I, I'm please be good. Please be good. You know what I'm saying? But I, this lineup, man. This lineup. I, I, people are people are speculating the reason why Iris is able to be a speedster. I don't think it's Velocity X. I don't think it's any of that. I think it's because she is pregnant with Nora. That's my guess. That's my guess of what it is. How she's able to become a speedster. For this to make sense. Let's say I have another way to make it make sense. I don't know, but, uh, Hey, this could be a cool way to bring back a frost speedster where frost injects velocity X or 10 or whatever. And when she did an episode two of the season, this episode two where she fought the, uh, yeah, it was episode two because, uh, Barry was acting all like no emotion or whatever. And so she had to become a speedster and fight him. That was awesome. It was such a fantastic thing to do in this show. Something I thought I would never think they would do and they did something like that. I'm like, I, w I never even thought this could even happen and it did. It was amazing. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything else. I, I, I like how they speed off too. I'll play that again. All the colors. I mean, Speed Force Nora is like creating a bunch of different fucking lighting. It's fucking awesome. It's so interesting. So interesting. Of course, I, I always like this animation too with the mask coming on. Wait, like, it just goes on so quick. Go back. It's so cool. No! <laughs> yeah, so this was pretty good. Pretty good. Um, and the lineup there at the end, like I said, I just wish Barry was standing there in the lines. So you could see everybody there. But it's okay. It's okay. It's a quick shot. Probably gonna see right. We're probably gonna see a really cool shot. They, look, if you have all of them being speedsters and you have all of them there, you have to have a cool hero shot of all of them. And if they don't, they failed this fucking episode and they failed this season. <laughs> There's been a lot of talk about season seven as a whole and people talking about um, if the Godspeed arc is definitely improving. I agree. I feel like the Godspeed arc is definitely making this show better. And once again, it goes to my point, and I will keep making this point until I'm blue in the face. And I'm not saying that you have to do this, Flash, the Flash show. I'm just saying that you it's, it's proven time and time again, at least from what the majority of fans are liking or, or disliking. It seems a lot of fans, for the most part, I'm not speaking for everybody, that when it comes to speedsters and more speedsters on the show and speedster villains, the show gets more interesting. Don't why? Because it's about the Flash. I know he has other villains that are non speedsters, but you got to think of what is working in your favor. Now, it, too much of a good thing is going to end up being bad. Case in point, when he had Reverse Flash and Zoom, both both amazing, and then Savitar was d dividing people because they were like three seasons full of speedsters. Yeah, so I get that, but 
like the, the the shot here like look people are so excited and this shot right here is so cool you got a shot of barry speed force nora nora iris bart and jay and iris is not typically a speedster but she has been in before and she's a speedster in this somehow i'm guessing it's pregnancy but we have all these fucking speedsters and we have godspeeds and all, all these fucking clone godspeeds and gods and i guess hearthy the, the real godspeed finally showing up on the show it's crazy so what'd you guys think of the promo for heart of the matter part two i'm curious to know your thoughts uh are you hyped are you excited for the finale of the flash whatever thoughts you have let me know in the comments below guys do you do you agree with my theory that something bad's gonna happen to the timeline because of all this or am i wrong and you think something else entirely is gonna happen that's gonna carry over to season eight whatever thoughts you have let me know in the comments below guys hope you guys are enjoying uh the channel if you are like the video helps the channel out subscribe if you haven't yet on uh on the channel help support the channel and everything like that i'm done rambling i'm done talking i'm gonna go I'll talk to you guys soon peace out